Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2019 Winnebago Mini 2250DS. This is a great couples coach, it's well laid out, you have a big residential queen bed, a slide out U dinette where everyone can sit and hang out, plus it gives you a great shot to the TV, plenty of storage and a large rear bath. Let's start over here on the entryway. Uh, you do get the fire extinguisher by the door as you would expect. Right down here is your fuse panel and your breaker box. Much more impressive than that though is right up above. Look at all of this storage. You have massive storage right down there. Perfect spot for all of your shoes, flip flops, everything else. Right up top you have a massive wardrobe here as well. Makes a perfect spot for a, a coat closet naturally. Or again, if you do just have overflow or, or a ton of clothes that you bring with you, obviously you can use it for that as well. Right back here is the bathroom. Folks, one of the things that Winnebago does very, very well, in my opinion, is their interior doors. They're always square, they're level, they shut and open just the way they should. I know it seems like a silly minor thing, but when you're out there RV shopping, close some of the interior doors on others, use a Winnebago and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Right, and on the inside here is a robe hook, so you have a spot to hang your towels, or a robe, just like the name states. And then right in the back is your foot flush lever toilet. You'll see you have plenty of space, good leg room here, plenty of shoulder space as well. Window right behind you there just to uh, let in some natural light. Over to the side is your shower. It does have the lock. Just simply pop that off just like so. And then you can push the doors open. They are roller doors, which are nice because... When you're done showering, all the water that's on the doors will go right down into the shower pan, where sometimes a swing open door it drips out onto the floor. I'll step in here to give you an idea of height, just so you can tell I'm about six foot. You can see I have a little bit of space right here, more under that skylight. So if you are 6'3", you can stand under the skylight and not have to bend down. You also have the hand wand there and a couple shelves. Right outside of that is your... Um, your uh, mirrored medicine cabinet there. Here we go, looking for a light switch. You have the light right up top, mirrored medicine cabinet. This is your uh, bowl. I like the fact it's stainless steel in here. It's a little bit longer than most of them. A lot of times they're smaller. This allows you to easily wash your hands, just makes it usable. The uh, switch there, electrical outlet, and then a tiny bit of storage right underneath. When we make our way outside of the bathroom, you get into probably my favorite part of the camper, which is the kitchen space. Folks, you have massive countertop in here. So for the person that likes to cook, the person that likes to entertain, this is awesome countertop space. You can see the prep space over here, a ton over here. Three burner cooktop with the cover, so you can utilize this as prep space. The cover, of course, does fold back, lift it up like so fold it down. This one, uh, the front burner there is high output as well. And then you have the oven right here underneath in case you want to do a little bit of baking. Another thing you'll notice is big storage underneath. I'm going to open these up just to kind of point out how much storage you have underneath here, folks. A ton, which is awesome. Plenty of space for all of your pots and pans, cleaning chemicals underneath the sink there, which is good because they don't give you a ton of storage up top. So I do like that they gave you all of it uh, underneath. You also have a bank of three drawers right over here, full extension ball bearing drawers, plenty of space for all of your flat where everything else you need. You'll notice you have a bar top right here. You have space for stools. So if you want to put two stools in there, it's a great spot to sit. You know, you can angle the TV out so you can watch TV right here. It's also great if you have guests. You can kind of sit in the dinette, set some people here, have people in the kitchen, and just have conversation basically throughout the entire camper. As I mentioned, TV is front and center right there. That is hooked up to your multimedia center. Uh, this is a DVD player as well, so you can pop a movie in. Controls the speakers in here as well as outside and is Bluetooth capable. The rest of the kitchen countertops, you have the double bowl stainless steel sink with the high rise faucet there. Uh, window right back here, LED light right up top. You'll also see you have an electrical outlet as well as a dual USB port right there. So you have a place in which you can plug things in. Right up top here, a little bit of additional storage. You have the same thing on the other side as I mentioned, not a ton up top. That's why they give you so much down below. Microwave here, look at that folks, under 5,000 pounds, that's great. You have the hood here with a light and fan, another light here, and again, another electrical outlet, so you have a couple different places which you can plug in your coffee makers, toasters, everything else you need to plug into the kitchen there. Straight across the way here is the Dometic fridge freezer. We'll open this up so you can take a look. This one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover, a couple of drawers right down below there. Right on the opposite wall here is your thermostat. 
This will control your ducted AC as well as heat. And then down below, you will notice you have an electrical outlet and also right there is your propane leak detector. Hopefully, you never have to hear that go off. Right here is a U-shaped dinette. It is a very large u dinette. Not all of them are made the same. Some of them are shorter, longer than others. This one is quite large. You can easily sit four people around here for a meal. A lot of people get the illusion that you can sit more people at a u dinette. That's generally not the case because of leg room. But what a u dinette does do, one, is it gives you more elbow room. So, you know, everyone sitting around has, uh, again, a little more elbow room. Plus, when you do drop it down, it creates a larger bed where you can sleep one adult, a lot of times two adults on a u dinette. You can't do that on a standard dinette. Uh, but again, it does give you all that extra elbow space. It is a great spot to sit and hang out. You can play cards, eat a meal. The other thing I like about it is you have cushions right here. So what you can do is if you want to basically sit right here, you can just kind of put your legs out like so, and you have a straight shot out to the TV. So it is a comfortable spot to sit and relax. Kind of makes up almost for not having a sofa in this floor plan. Windows all the way around there, as you'd expect, to help let in natural light, and then, of course, a light right above, too. Then you have your bedroom, you get the privacy curtain, you can close that off there if you do have additional guests sleeping on the U dinette. Uh, residential queen size bed here folks, 60 by 80 residential queen. So if you're a tall person, sick of your feet hanging off, you don't have to worry about it in here. You also have electrical outlets on both sides of the bed, so if you have to plug anything in, charge anything, you can do that. The one side here also has dual USB ports need to put some larger stuff underneath. You'll see this is strut supported. That of course is your propane tank cover outside. The propane tanks are right over here because it just came from the manufacturer. But while, while I will show you this too real quick. This is what I was talking about. See how this is kind of concave here so you have room to put bar stools there. Uh, but again, good storage underneath the bed. You have a little leather headboard there and both sides you also get uh, wardrobe storage right there. So more hanging storage. So as I said, you, you, know, you can utilize the one uh, kind of by the door as coat storage because you have both of these here. Storage along the top, I'll open this up just because it is pretty deep. That makes it uh, pretty usable. And then you also have the vent right up top here. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Winnebago Mini 2250DS. Right up front here is a power tongue jack. This makes it super simple to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Rather than having to crank it up and down, you just flip a switch and it does the work for you. You also have a little light right up there in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. And in the event that it fails, you can pop this off and manually move that jack. You'll see right back here is the, are the rails for your battery. Those propane tanks that we saw inside will of course mount right here. It does have two 20 pound tanks. You have the diamond plating along the bottom right there to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And coming up above that is the gorgeous three quarter front cap. You can see it has a lot of different angles and cuts in there. It gives it kind of an aggressive look on the front end. Uh, before we talked about the pass through, I do want to drop down real quick. One of the things you'll notice, folks, is this one has a BAL huck bolt frame. This is a fantastic frame, one of the best strength to weight ratios in the industry. Uh, the great thing about huck bolts is it's easier to repair as well. In the event that you have any damage, they can actually cut the bolts off, put new sections in. And it's been shown that the number one place that your frame starts to rust at is right on those weld seams. So by eliminating those seams, you help reduce the chance for having rust start there. Uh, there's also propane quick connects. Not sure if you saw that right down here. So that way you can plug in grills, everything else right there. Right up above that though is the pass through. We'll take a look. Covered hinge so it doesn't rust out. It is slam latch and magnetic so you can put it up just like that. You don't have any plastic tabs or anything to break off. In here there is a light to light it up. You'll also see on the far side is a battery disconnect so you can kill all power from the other side there. More importantly though is the fact of how open and large this pass through is. It allows you to fit in much larger items, grills, executive chairs, things like that. Right over to this side here are your TV hookups, electrical outlet as well as the cable outlet. They do show you there's a backer mounted right here so you know exactly where to mount that TV. And as you would hope, that is underneath the large power awning. Touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And you have an LED light strip under there so you have light at night. Beautiful high-end fiberglass here, folks. This is the Noble Classic True High Gloss Exterior. This is the same thing Winnebago puts on their motorhomes, some of the best fiberglass in the industry, and they put it on their travel trailers, which is phenomenal. If you're going somewhere you don't have a water hookup, you wanna make sure you fill your water tanks, that will be done right here. 
If we take a look right down below, you can see those beautiful aluminum alloy wheels right there. Uh, great thing about that is not only they look great now, but they will continue to do so because aluminum doesn't rust. A couple outside speakers. You have one right up here, the other one on the other side of the door. So if you want to be out here and rock out, listen to some music, you can do that. As I previously mentioned, it is controlled by that multimedia center inside, but that unit's Bluetooth capable, so you can sit right out here. Three foldable steps to get into the camper, and then you also have the foldable grab handle right here. That way you have full control when entering or exiting the RV. So we take a look at the back here. You will notice this one has your square tubular bumper. The end caps were inside the drawer in there, but that does allow you to uh, store your sewer hose right inside the bumper. You'll also notice right here is your spare tire with a cover. That cover, of course, will help keep it in great shape, and the fact that it's mounted to your bumper makes it one of the easiest places to access it. You will see your rear mounted ladder, that way you can climb up on the fully walkable roof, eliminates you having to bring a ladder, and you definitely want to get up there when you're done camping just to kind of brush off all the pine cones, pine needles, leaves, everything else up there just to help clean off your roof and for good basic maintenance. 30 amp detachable power cord will plug right into there. Moving up a little bit further, you have the outside shower. This does have both hot and cold water access. Right here is your water inlet, right next to that is your uh, black tank flush. So in the event that uh, you know, you're done camping, all you do is take a hose, you hook it up right here, that will wash out your black tank, so that way anything gets left behind, any sods get left behind, that will help wash all that out. Directly underneath that is your termination. You can see that there. It's also, if you're, while we're down here, it's kind of tough to see, but this one does have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. So as long as you have your furnace running, it'll put hot air down below, helping to prevent your tanks from freezing up on you. As far as valves, if you take a look right up here, you will see your gray tank valve, as well as your black tank valve located right there. And then as you move up a little bit here, you will see that you have your satellite, as well as your cable hook up there. And if we move all the way up front here, last thing I do want to show you, this one does have solar prep right here. So if you want solar, all I have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and you are trickle charging your battery. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Winnebago Mini 2250DS. If you love this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.